What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Stock Option Recap for February 22nd, 2021. The Dow Jones is up 0.09%, the Nasdaq's down 2.46%, and the S&P is down 0.77%. Now, today was a really crazy day for the Nasdaq, and a lot of your bigger name tech stocks are down 2-3%, some of them even more. As far as on the S&P, it was a pretty slow day today. We came up quite a bit more towards the end of the day, and then pretty much right as power hour hit, we just started falling off huge the nasdaq went down like one percent in that final hour of the day the dow held up pretty decently compared to all of them as far as option plays go goodyear tires is one of the craziest ones i saw today because this stock usually doesn't even move at all but they got some news that they're buying cooper tires and they had a really positive move off that news i wasn't expecting this at all but you could have got these 15 dollar calls for about 12 cents maybe even cheaper in the morning if you would have got it right in the morning and they went all the way up to 180 at the close I think they topped out at uh, 260 it looks like, so crazy move there on Goodyear. Kind of funny because I had these uh, 13.5s or these 13s for earnings a while ago, so those would have been super good if I would have held them. But these $15 call contracts for on the day are just crazy. A little over a 1,000% on there. Maybe even more because it looks like you could have got them for about $0.05 cents right in the morning. So I got a couple of shares in that in the long term, but... No option plays on there, unfortunately. Another super crazy stock today was AAL. Pretty much all the airlines and your cruise lines and hotel stocks did extremely well today, but I was super impressed with AAL. They gapped up this morning to $20, opened up the day at about $19.50, shot up to $21, and still closed relatively high. I'm really impressed with AAL here. I'm more impressed with the stock move, but you could have got these 21 calls this morning for about $20, and they shot up a little over 80 the contracts really weren't that cheap on AAL unless you got pretty far out of the money like you could have even got these 21.5s for about 18 cents this morning and they went up to 60 so pretty decent moves there on AAL not as crazy as Goodyear but but I'm still really liking the airlines the cruise lines hotels they've just been killing it lately I'm just really surprised on this move in general it's not really the options that are that impressive i just think the stock's pretty crazy i wasn't really expecting aal to gap up like that and none of the other airlines really gapped up quite as much as aal even general electric was pretty crazy you could have got these 12 dollar calls earlier in the morning for about 20 30 dollars and they shot up a little over 70 so not like the craziest move but ge is a slow mover and i'm really impressed with how much it moved today because usually it barely even moves 50 cent move is pretty big on ge plus they had the little gap up from last week boeing had a plane that had an engine failure and i'm pretty sure it crashed i don't think anyone got hurt or anything like that so that's probably why the stock ended up ripping but boeing did sell off quite a bit more towards the end of the day there weren't really any too crazy options the options didn't really move that much but if you would have got these 235s in the morning they were only like $25 and they shot up to about $80 at the top so still a pretty decent play on there just not as crazy I'm just really surprised Boeing recovered like that because usually when they have uh, planes crashing and engine failures and stuff like that the stock usually gets clapped so it's nice to see that it recovered but it did end up falling off with the rest of the market more towards the end of the day another really impressive stock on top of Goodyear was Disney I didn't really find any of the shorter term contracts that interesting on Disney. I mean, you could have got these 200 calls for about 15 cents this morning and they went up a little over $100. Pretty good move on there, but I really liked these March 19th uh, 230 contracts. You could have got these for about $20 earlier in the morning and they shot up to about $60 and closed at 40, so still really impressive on the close, but I just liked this play a lot because you could have got a decent amount of time for relatively cheap even the 220s were pretty damn good you could have got them for about $30 and they were at 100 at the top of the day so I really liked Disney I'm gonna be keeping my eye on this if uh, it pulls back at all because these contracts on Disney have been going pretty crazy I did do a play on RCL today I got these 95 calls earlier in the morning for about $20 I noticed CCL was ripping and RCL was kind of lagging behind it 
And then I went and looked through the option chain. These $100 contracts on the weekly were up like 300% earlier in the morning. They were only worth like three cents. And then when I was looking at the option chain, they were up nine. And these $90 calls were up quite a bit as well. But for some reason, these $95 calls were lagging a little bit behind everything else. And all the plays on CCL were up like 200% already. So... I figured to get exposure to the cruise lines, I would pick this one up, and it actually ended up going up a little over 400%. But the only bad part is I bought it on my Robinhood, and my Robinhood is restricted as a pattern day trader, so I was not able to sell this play. And it's probably going to get clapped now because CCL just had a stock offering after hours, so I'm sure that's going to affect RCL. Probably clapped on that play, unfortunately. It would have been nice to sell it for that 400% profit, but that's my fault for trading it on a Robinhood. I completely forgot I was restricted as a pattern day trader on there, so it kind of sucks, but I mean, still a really good play. Another stock that had a pretty good day was Visa. You could have got these 215 calls for about 15, 20 cents this morning, and they went all the way up to 80 at the top, so pretty decent move on Visa. Pretty much most of your credit card companies did really well today, but Visa was the best on the options. All the other ones were really expensive, but I liked Visa. One final one that wasn't on the call side, but the put side was Nike. You could have got these 135 calls super early in the morning for about $23, maybe even $40 if you were paying a little bit of a premium. They ended up closing a little over a dollar, so pretty crazy move on Nike. Not super crazy on the options, but I just thought this was interesting because this is one of the biggest red candles on Nike that we've seen in a long time. And the final stock we are talking about is Spotify. They had a super crazy day. They had a news that Obama and Bruce Springsteen is bringing their Renegade podcast onto Spotify, so I think that's why it shot up. I was trying to look for the news because I saw it late on CNBC, but I couldn't really find it. I saw Obama tweeted it somewhere around here, but the stock was already ripping, so I'm just not sure if Obama was late on that tweet, or maybe I just missed the news, I'm not really positive, but Spotify went pretty crazy today, and then they ended up selling off more towards the end of the day, just like everything else. Very interesting, I'm going to be keeping my eye on Spotify, I think it's kind of weird that it ripped up this much, and then just sold off that big but my theory with spotify is it usually follows apple microsoft and facebook so i just thought it was kind of weird that it was up that high maybe you could have did something with the puts but the options really didn't move that much on spotify it's kind of a weird mover you could have maybe got these 315 puts or maybe even the 310s for pretty cheap but the spreads are super wide on there i'm not sure if it's because it's after market, but Spotify is definitely an interesting one to keep an eye on. Same with Apple, Facebook, and Microsoft. Microsoft came down a lot today. I didn't look at any option plays, but it looks like these 230 puts were pretty cheap yesterday, but you weren't able to get in that play earlier in the morning because it had a gap down, so all the prices just went crazy on there. But I'm still keeping an eye on Facebook and Apple for longer term calls. I'm just being really patient with those because the market's being kind of crazy right now. So I just don't want to get in too early and have the premiums go against me. Even though the premiums on those longer term options I've been looking at are super attractive. I just I just want to be really patient on those. Watch Tesla. Tesla had a pretty damn big down day today. I ended up picking up a share of Tesla. I wanted to do a flip, but Tesla got clapped. So I'm not really sure how that's going to go. I mean, I'm not going to sell the share. I'm just going to hold it but we'll have to see what happens with tesla a lot of people for some reason just got really bearish out of nowhere on tesla i thought it was kind of funny because last week everyone was so bullish on tesla and now that it's down another eight percent people are going full bear on there it's very interesting to see how people's viewpoint on the market changes just because of one day it's a uh, it's weird because, I mean, if you were bearish, you should have been in this early. You shouldn't be chasing it. But, I mean, you can do whatever you want. None of this is financial advice, not a recommendation. I'm just showing you guys what I'm looking at in the market. But we're still going to be doing these every single day. So if you enjoyed them, be sure to leave a like on the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, be sure to hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we go live. We're live market open to market close Monday through Friday. So you'll definitely want to hit that notification bell and it'll notify you the second and we go live and also when we post videos you guys have any news stocks or option plays you guys are
are looking at or any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.